Today I was actually going to film my study abroad experience video, but the clouds have come out again, and I know it's gonna be too dark by the time I would actually film that. So I thought I would do a book discussion video. I know I don't do these extremely often, but I've just been thinking about this particular topic over the past couple days, so I just figured I'd go ahead and see what your guys' opinions are. So lately I've seen a lot of videos that are centered around the idea of reading slumps, and generally these videos are always talking about how to get out of them, and I think they give fantastic advice. They generally say, put down whatever long tomb of a book it is you're reading right now that bores you, switch to something that is shorter, more fast paced, that you've always been wanting to read for a really long time. I've seen a lot of these videos and as much as I love them, I realized a day or two ago, and I don't know why I didn't realize this to begin with, because now it seems sort of stupidly obvious to me, but as much as I've always been an avid reader, I've never actually experienced a reading slump. And that's not to say that there hasn't been a time period where I haven't read a lot of books. I've always been an avid reader. It isn't as if a certain book, like say Harry Potter, Twilight, and I know those really turned on and spurred a lot of people to start re reading, which I think is fantastic. I personally just always read quite often. Not necessarily the amount of books that I see a lot of booktubers are capable of reading each month. People are like, oh, I only read eight this month. But when I say I've never experienced a reading slump, I mean that there has been a time period where, say, I went a month, maybe even two months, without reading a book. You guys probably noticed that while I was abroad for four months, I only actually read one book. And I know when I say that a lot of you guys are probably thinking, well, then you were experiencing reading slumps, you weren't reading books. But I don't actually think so. When people describe reading slumps, it seems as if they're describing this feeling of anxiety of not reading a book and just feeling like they should be reading, so they're trying to do all of these things to just spur them on to read. This hasn't been the case so much since I started booktube, except for like when I was saying when I was studying abroad. Like I was saying, before I started booktube, I could easily go a month and not read a book and never once was I filled with this like trepidation over the fact that I wasn't reading. So I wouldn't call it a slump, it was just a time when I wasn't reading, which I think is perfectly normal. At least to me, I think your likes and loves in life are a really fluid thing, and as much as I've always been a big reader, I can go a month and not feel bad about not reading a book, just in the same way that I love movies. I'm a huge movie buff. I can go a month and probably not watch a movie, and then the next month watch five movies in a single week. I've just been thinking lately that if we're not in the mood to read a book, I think that's natural and it doesn't mean we've lost our love for reading. I've just been thinking lately and let me know what you guys think, but do we really need to force ourselves to read if for some reason we're not in the mood to? Because aside from obviously family and friends, reading could be the thing that you love most in life or it could be the thing that relaxes you or motivates you most in life. But at the same time, I think it's perfectly natural if you go an extended period of time and don't want to do it at all. So my advice would be if you're in a reading slump, if those even exist because I kind of feel like if what a reading slump is is where you're not really reading a book and you don't feel the urge to be reading just don't read watch a movie watch TV go on reddit for five hours like I do most days I know a lot of times this can't be the case say if you're a book editor or you have a book blog or anything like that that is your livelihood but for the most part if you don't feel the urge to read just don't and I think that's perfectly fine because I think if you start to stress yourself out and make yourself feel as if reading has to be something you do very very consistently all the time then reading might slowly shift from being a love to more of a chore and obviously I know that this isn't always the case I know some people just are reading a book they don't like very much but feel that urge to read so they need something else so let me know what you guys think about reading slumps, what your opinions on them are. Again, I'm not trying to undermine all the videos talking about reading slumps. This is just something I've been thinking about lately and I wanted to see what you guys thought. So let me know if you'd like to see more book discussion videos like this and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.